Hi, I'm Lauren Ash Morgan. I'm the Artistic Director of Soul Shakespeare Company, and I'm here to talk to you about our next production, The Winter's Tale. In times of political upheaval and uncertainty, the arts, and particularly Shakespeare's works, can remind us of deep truths about our humanity. The Winter's Tale, one of Shakespeare's latest and most mature plays, is one such work, progressing through the themes of jealousy, tyranny, repentance, and ultimately, forgiveness. We are currently in rehearsal to bring this beautiful play to our local theater district, and we need the support of people like you to help us achieve this goal. Last year's Elizabethan-style production of Much Ado About Nothing brought a new vibrancy to our productions and was very popular with audiences, defying expectations of what could be done in Seoul's international theater community. This year's production, directed again by Michael Downey, builds upon our favorite elements from last year, featuring continuous action and fluidity, but shifting to a roughly Victorian period. While we try to create contrasting productions from year to year, The Winter's Tale is within itself a contrasting production. While its middle section takes place in the warm, joyful, rustic, pastoral land of Bohemia, the beginning of the play starts us off in the stark, melancholic, tragic world of Sicilia. In the first half of The Winter's Tale, we explore the themes of jealousy and tyranny. Whereas in Othello, the emphasis is on the slow development of Othello's jealousy, and in Much Ado About Nothing, Claudio's jealousy is comedically cleared up in the end, in The Winter's Tale, King Leontes' misplaced jealousy is acted upon near the beginning of the play. The emphasis in this play is on what unfolds afterwards, as Leontes' jealousy leads him towards paranoia, tyranny, and refusal to listen to truth or dissent, until personal family tragedy leads Leontes to self-awareness and repentance. The second half of the play transcends these initial darker themes, delivering a hopeful view of humanity in the end, as Leontes' penitence, the healing effects of time, and the blossoming of a new generation lead to reconciliation, culminating in one of Shakespeare's most beautiful and moving final scenes, a scene of reunion and forgiveness. Seoul Shakespeare Company brings Shakespeare to both Korean and expat audiences in Seoul, in English with Korean subtitles. We're an important part of the English-speaking artistic community and also an artistic and educational resource for Korean audiences, particularly students. We are an all-volunteer company which allows us to be open to anyone who wants to participate, but at the same time we strive for a high level of professionalism so we can be of value to people who are serious about acting and other aspects of theater, some of whom have gone on to pursue a career in the theater. We also aim to have videos of our productions available so that our contribution to the world of Shakespeare performance is accessible worldwide to students and people interested in Shakespeare. By contributing to this production, you'll be helping to bring the brilliance of Shakespeare to diverse audiences in Korea, and you'll be supporting the international artistic community in Seoul and allowing us to continue to do this work, which is so unique within our city. Thank you for anything that you are able to give to support this production.